Up next, President Donald Trump makes yet another plea for Vice President Pence to change his fate in the 2020 presidential race while appearing at a rally in Georgia. And I hope Mike Pence comes through for us, I have to tell you. He's a great guy. Of course, if he doesn't come through, I won't like him quite as much. Now, we're joined by DailyMail.com's editor-at-large, Piers Morgan in London, who has been following this story. And Piers, the audio of Trump openly asking a government official to look for votes left a lot of people, including yourself, in shock. And you've been a longtime supporter and friend of President Trump. What was your reaction when you actually heard what was said on this tape and how the president was spoken to by Georgia election officials? You know, I was uh, shocked, I was dismayed, and frankly, I was angry, like I think a lot of people who heard it. This is the President of the United States in the last few days of his office, behaving like a two-bit mafia don, trying to put the arm on elected officials, threatening them, cajoling them, and ultimately asking them to find him the votes he needs to overturn a fair democratic election result. And it's scandalous. You know, Carl Bernstein of Watergate fame said this to him was worse than what Richard Nixon did in Watergate. And I agree with him. You know, as we mentioned, you and Donald Trump have had a long friendship over the years. Have you tried to speak with him since he lost the election? And if you haven't, but you got the chance to, how would you advise him to handle his last few weeks as president of the United States? I haven't talked to him since about a week before the election. And I don't really want to talk to him. I've written a procession of columns now telling him to stop behaving like a spoiled baby who's had his you know, rattle thrown out of the stroller uh, and to uh, lead with some vestige of dignity. But I think we've almost passed that stage. You know, there's no guarantee he'll even turn up for the inauguration, which is just outrageous. Um, I think Donald Trump has proven himself to be a spectacularly bad loser, which is not entirely surprising given his character and the way he always talks about winning. Um, but also it, rather more dangerously, he has directly attacked the fundamentals of American democracy. And I think that has been very sad to watch. And as his friend, if I was to see him or speak to him now, I said, what the hell do you think you're doing, Donald? You lost, suck it up and go with a tiny trace of dignity, which is all you've got left. Well, that might be the most outrageous thing if we do see him demonstrate that. We know one thing's for sure. Anybody that follows Donald Trump knows that he's not going to go away quietly, and we will be watching to see these last few weeks in office as President-elect Biden is then sworn in on January 20th. Piers, thank you.